Hey YouTube, you probably recognize what I've got here beside me, I think. There's quite a lot of uh, video reviews out now on the Beauty Dish, and we had a little bit of time uh, this weekend, so we thought we'd take a crack at it. Our main reason for doing it is the beautiful catch lights that you get in your eyes uh, when you're taking pictures with a Beauty Dish. And so I'm going to show you a comparison between the Beauty Dish that we made uh, speed light softbox and traditional shoot through umbrellas so you should find the pictures kind of interesting I, I was it was a real learning experience for me for sure I didn't realize that the speed light softbox focused the light as as uh, harshly as they do or at least as much as they do and you'll see that in comparison photos okay so the DIY project I'm gonna fess up right away um, I basically copied the O Young brothers they they made their Chinatown special that was really cool they gave great instructions on it it. and I thought for 20 bucks you can't go wrong the reason I did it um, I don't really want to go out and spend $300 on a Mola uh, a beauty dish that I'm going to use maybe 10% of the time in my in my photography business so uh, I thought this might be a good way to go good way to kill some time on the weekend so let's have a look the beauty dish itself is essentially built around an 18 inch terracotta planting bowl that you can get, I got it at Lowe's and or Home Depot. The next component that you need is, uh, the one that I used was an electrical cover from an octagon electrical box. Uh, four 18 by 32 screws about three inches long and then on the back side you're going to need um, a little plastic downspout uh, fitting or adapter that you can also get from Lowe's or Home Depot for about a buck and a quarter so it's a very inexpensive project and I'll show you sort of the things that I ran into one thing I can tell you uh, one issue I ran into was the first reflector plate I used was an 8 inch dish like what the Chinatown special uh, was however the plate I used was uh, from the dollar store <laughs> and it was convex so when I drilled the holes and tightened the screws in the screws were canting one way or the other and they weren't lining up uh, so well with the uh, the speed light bracket so just make sure that your reflector dish is perfectly flat so when you put your screws through you tighten them up they maintain the the true they got to be straight to fit into the speed light bracket so that's a, a key thing the other tip I can give you is that your downspout that you're going to use that the speed light fits through all you need to do is silicone it to the terracotta bowl and the trick there is that whenever you're using uh, silicone is rub the surfaces with a little bit of white vinegar the vinegar has acetic acid in it, it cleans the oil film off, and the silicone will stick like you can hold a glass pane into a door just with silicone as long as you clean the surfaces properly. And hour and a half later, this is what you're going to end up with. So let's take a close look and uh, you can see for yourself what you think. Okay, so let's take a look at a uh, closer look at our beauty dish here. I'm just going to loosen the bottom adjuster on the bracket, slide it up. I'm going to loosen the cold shoe. Uh, the speed light and the radio trigger don't constitute a lot of weight, so I find that I only need two nuts to secure the bracket to the dish. And once I've, I've taken those nuts off, you can lift the bracket straight up, and you're left with your typical speed light softbox bracket, and you know, really straightforward. Put that over to the side. So now we can take a quick look at the back side of the beauty dish. You know, it's just three. Uh, sorry, excuse me, four screws, uh, three inches long, uh, 832 in size. There's your buck and a quarter for your downspout. It's a plastic fitting that just gets silicone to the beauty dish. So you just cut a, a square hole with round corners through the terracotta bowl and you're good to go. On the other side, there's a close up and I, I also have added some pictures too so you can get a really close look at all these components but it's very straightforward to put together uh, and you end up with a product that's quite usable and gives you some phenomenal catch lights uh, when you're doing portrait. Alright so I've reassembled our beauty dish I've got all the components in I tighten the nuts down and so this is what you end up with you can pop it onto a light stand like so tighten it up 
And you're all set to take some fantastic shots and get some beautiful catch lights in those uh, portraits that you're going to take. So I hope this has been a benefit to you. Uh, make sure that you check out the photo comparison I've included in the video. I was really surprised to see how much the uh, speed light, again, I think I mentioned this before, but I was really surprised to see the speed light softbox, how much it focuses the light as compared to the umbrellas uh, and the beauty dish. So. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.